Chapter 9 So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, Levites, and the Nethanims. And in Jerusalem dwelt of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh. Uthai, the son of Amahud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Pharez, the son of Judah, and of the Shilonites, Asiah the firstborn, and his sons, and of the sons of Zerah, Jewel, and their brethren, six hundred and ninety, and of the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshullam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hassanua, and Ibniah, the son of Jeroham, and Elah, the son of Uzai, the son of Mikri, and Meshullam, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnijah, and their brethren, according to their generations, nine hundred and fifty and six. All these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers, and of the priests, Jediah, and Jehoiarib, and Jachin, and Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshullam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merioth, the son of Ahitub, the ruler of the house of God, and Adiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Pasher, the son of Malchijah, and Maasaai, the son of Adiel, the son of Jazara, the son of Meshullam, the son of Meshillamith, the son of Immer, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and three score, very able men for the work of the service of the house of God. And of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashab, the son of Ezraikam, the son of Hashabiah, of the sons of Merari, and Bakbakar, Herish, and Galil, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zichri, the son of Asaph, and Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galil, the son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Natophathites. And the porters were Shalom, and Akab, and Talman, and Ahiman, and their brethren. Shalom was the chief, who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastward, they were porters in the companies of the children of Levi. And Shalom, the son of Cori, the son of Ebiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren of the house of his father, the Korahites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle, and their fathers, being over the host of the Lord, were keepers of the entry. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, was the ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. And Zechariah, the son of Meshelamiah, was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be porters in the gates were two hundred and twelve. These were reckoned by their genealogy and their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of the Lord, namely the house of the tabernacle, by wards. In four quarters were the porters, toward the east, west, north, and south. And their brethren, which were in their villages, were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters, were in their set office, and were over the chambers and treasuries of the house of God. And they lodged round about the house of God, because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them had the charge of the ministering vessels, that they should bring them in and out by tale. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels and all the instruments of the sanctuary, and the fine flour and the wine and the oil and the frankincense and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. And Mattathiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And other of their brethren, of the sons of the Kohathites, were over the showbread to prepare it every Sabbath. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in that work day and night. These chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Jerusalem. And in Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Jehiel, 
whose wife's name was Maacah, and his firstborn son Abdon, then Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Ner, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zechariah, and Mikloth. And Mikloth begat Shimeam, and they also dwelt with their brethren at Jerusalem, over against their brethren. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribbaal, and Meribbaal begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were Python, and Melech, and Tariah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jerah, and Jerah begat Alameth, and Asmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Mosa, and Mosa begat Binia, and Rephiah his son, Eleasa his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azricam, Bokaru, and Ishmael, and Sheariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel.